Hey guys, it's Barbara, and today is all about the pencil skirt. Why the pencil skirt? Because it's a great addition for anyone to have in their wardrobe. It's a classic piece that if purchased correctly will last you for years. Now today, this morning, I went and picked up a custom made pencil skirt from Nicole Bach here in Toronto. And while I was there, Oksana and I recorded a little video for you guys to understand the process of how to get something made to measure or custom made, um, whether it's a pencil skirt, slacks, blazer, etc., to maybe help you decide if you're considering whether um, purchase, purchasing one off the rack or having one made specifically for you to your measurements and your requirements. So what we're gonna do now is go over to Nicole Bach and then once we're done there, we're gonna come back here, I'm gonna put my pencil skirt on, and we're gonna talk about uh, what to look for when purchasing one sort of off the rack retail, and then also what to consider if you're having one made for you. So let's go to Nicole Bach right now. So hi, I'm here with Oksana at Nicole Bach, and this is where I had my pencil skirt custom made. And so Oksana's gonna explain the process of how it was made, and then we're gonna show you, kinda go through step by step, through the process that I went through with Oksana and then the final result. Yeah, so Barbara here is wearing one of our pencil skirts that's done through our made to measure program. A little clarification there on what that means, made to measure versus made to order when we're talking about custom. So made to measure is because we specifically made it to Barbara's measurements. <laughs> so this was very custom, not bespoke because we already had the pattern, but we took one of our fit samples, which is these guys here, and just pinned and talked about the differences that need to be made. So when it was cut, all those adjustments were made in the pattern from the beginning. Uh, versus made to order, which is you're gonna see more often, especially in bigger chains, where they have a specific size and pattern, and the only thing you're customizing is maybe the color of fabric you're choosing, and then it's just made per client, so they don't have overstock. That's normally what that means. But the measurements are not different. So for here, it's a custom fit, so made to measure, um, which looks amazing. Love yeah, it. no, I love it. <laughs> I really love it. And, um, and I know I've mentioned before, pencil skirts are one of the hard, pencil skirts, blazers, and shirts are one of the hardest things for my clients um, to find in a fit because all our bodies are shaped differently. And so that's originally why I came to Oksana because I thought, well, you know, a pencil skirt's a great addition to any, any wardrobe and you'll have it for years. So why not get one that's made to your specific uh, shape and size and then you'll have like the perfect product in your closet for years to come. So I just want to talk a little bit about how the process works because there's a lot of questions we get as to what this means and how to go about made to measure. So we use trial garments to make the process as easy as possible instead of going off of raw measurements because there are lots of different proportions and sizes and different things we have to think about when we're coming to especially jackets but also pants or even skirts that we want to try and forecast ahead of time. So we have a size run of right now eight different sizes. That's kind of your starting point. You come here, you try them on. This is why we require physical meetings and we don't sell online currently is because you need to try one of these garments on so that we can pin it and talk about all the changes that you wanna make. So this is your opportunity to talk about everything that you like, your preferences and how things fit, everything that you want to be changed ahead of time so that we can make the adjustments for your pattern so we can have as few adjustments and alterations once it's been produced as possible. So this is how the process starts. We get you in one of our trial garments. So right now we have, this is our, the smallest size equivalents to about a size two on Barbara. And then we talk about everything that we're gonna change. So in this case, we went through and we talked about the fact that it's too long for her. So we had to hem it up quite a bit. I think we took it up about six inches. So we just pinned it all the way up so we could see the length on her and get a bit of a visual. And then we talked about the fact that it was too wide. She wanted a smaller hem because we wanted a skirt that was fitting really nice and sleek and fitted to her. So we had to go through and pin exactly how narrow we wanted it to be on both sides so that we could take the measurements off of that initial pattern. And then we talked about things like how high the slit's gonna be because you can change that to exactly the length that you want. So for Barbara, we raised it a tiny bit just because she has a very petite frame. And then the last thing we talked about was the placement of the zipper. So in this case, we start standardly with the left side, 
but we actually changed Barbara's to be on the center back just for convenience and to fit her shape a little bit better. Yeah, so I, I talk about this all the time that I have scoliosis. And so one side, one side kind of comes in a curve and one side goes straight. So that's why I could never find a skirt, like a tailored pencil skirt, other than like a bodycon style that would fit me. And so to have the, um, the zipper on the left side where I kind of go flat and dip in and there's just kind of a weird shape didn't work. So then you'll see on my other skirt when I put it back on that um, because we moved the zipper down the back, it fits perfectly along both sides. All right, so here we are with the finished product. Now you can see from our changes from the initial sample, we've made it a lot shorter. So now it's perfectly sitting just below her knee. We've made it a lot narrower. So it's gonna sit nice and snug because she wanted a very fitted look. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and then of course the side zipper we changed. So yeah. you're not gonna have it in the side. We have it in the back. So it's sitting a lot cleaner on her side with um, that one hip that is not as symmetrical to the other one. And we're gonna talk a little bit about the waistband. So this is actually our standard kind of go-to waistband where it's structured. You can see it a little bit, so there is a little bit of a line here because we do another layer of thicker fusing up there, and that's the go-to for any of our trousers and skirts. As opposed to doing a very thin waistband like a lot of other brands do, or doing the internal facing so you can't see the waistband at all, um, I personally like doing it like this because it holds everything in really nicely. It's really great to tuck things in because it sits a little smoother and you don't run the risk of that internal facing creeping up while you're walking or working or whatever you're doing because that happens to me all the time. <laughs> but it looks great. How do you feel? Yeah, no, I do. I love it. I love it. Um, I love it because it actually fits my shape, which I can never find um, off the rack. And um, yeah, I think it's perfect all the way through. I really wanted it fitted, and that's something else that you can't typically get um, if you're just going straight uh, retail. So I just, I love the shape, and I love the fit, and I love the fabric. So can you tell me a little bit about the fabric? Because that's another thing that I love. It's, it's really comfortable, and it's tailored, but there's a bit of, like, I have a little bit of give. So little there's a bit, a little bit of stretch in it. Yeah. So fabric is a huge thing in this process because you get to choose this guy that's one one of the best parts about custom is that you have the decisions it doesn't have to be black by the way you can get any color you want for me it's <laughs> um we work with a variety of different mills uh so we actually have about 20 different fabric books in here there's five different mills that we work with it's just kind of a constant so you can pick from any of those ones we specialize in natural fibers so it's normally going to be wool or cotton or linen um, and we do a few of these stretch collections where most of the, the major mills that we deal with have at least one book of stretch collection. So that's going to have anywhere from 2 to 5% lycra. So in this case, it's a 2%. It's a little bit of stretch. It's enough to give you a little bit of leeway just with general movement, especially because it's a fitted pencil skirt, but not too much that you're going to feel like you're wearing spandex. So you still get a lot of that structure. It still looks very professional. So in a professional working environment, you're not gonna feel like you're going to a club. <laughs> but, um, but the comfort factor is not gonna be lost on you. So that's again part of the process why we, why we want you to come in here. And this is a very in-person physical consultation appointment concept because you can touch and feel the fabrics. We have samples for all of them here. Mm -hmm. So you can decide for yourself which one is gonna work best with your lifestyle and the cut that you're going for. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure. And before we go, I want to ask uh, Xana to talk about what she's wearing right now. Because when, she, when I walked in today, I fell in love with her suit. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, so this is our standard fitted blazer made with one of our standard trousers. It was one of our first samples, so we played around a little bit with doing the racing leg. So this I actually did in a gross grain ribbon. We just added it on the side, so it has some interesting texture. With a regular zip up front, we added some belt loops because I love belting things. And the jacket is one of my favorites because um, you'll see in our regular cut, it has princess seams on both the back and the front so that it fits really nicely in the back. I have a hollow back, something that I've always struggled with. Yeah. So I like having the more fitted style, so it gives me some shape. But then at the same time, because of the prints it seems on the front, it actually fits my bust size, which is normally a big issue for me mm -hmm. to find a jacket that fits both my shoulder width 
and my bus size is impossible. <laughs> yeah, and that's, I would say 90, 99% of my clients can never get a proper fit in a blazer. So that's why I love the concept of getting something what, made to measure. Made to measure. Made to measure. <laughs> you got it. Great. Great. Thank awesome. you so much. Thank you. Appreciate it. So I'm back, and I am back in my pencil skirt, which, as I've said before, I absolutely love. I've always wanted to have one um, nice and fitted, tailored, that fits the contours of my body, and Nicole Bach, they just nailed it. So, um, yeah, what to look for when you're purchasing one or having one custom made. First things first, it's got to fit. Um, if it's too loose, then it's not a pencil skirt. It's, ju it's just a skirt, and it'll look messy and sloppy. Pencil skirts are supposed to fit the contours of your body. Skim the body, but not be too tight. That's another thing. You don't want it too loose, but you don't want it too tight. Unless, of course, you're wearing a bodycon um, skirt, which is different because that's supposed to be a tight look. But when it's tailored as this one is, you want it to just fit perfectly. Not too tight, not too loose. Um, also, when it's too tight, you'll find it rides up. That's, that's, you know, if there's not enough stretch and there's, and, and it's too tight, just like the bodycon dresses will, or the body, bodycon skirts, they will ride up because they're so tight. But when you have one made for you or have one tailored off the rack for your shape and it's lined, um, it sh you won't have that riding up as you will up um, if, it's, if it's far too tight. Which brings me to fabric next. I know Oksana mentioned, I think she said about somewhere between two and 5% is the stretch in this fabric, I can't remember. But yeah, I find it's the perfect amount of stretch. I feel like it's nice and tailored still, and you have that sort of, um, you have that nice tailored look, but you don't have too much stretch, but just enough stretch that when you're walking, like when I walk with this one, I feel like I'm not, um, it's not binding me in any way. So yeah, so that's another thing you wanna look for, whether you're having it made or off the rack. Take a look and see um, how much stretch there is, and, and, and consider how it's gonna look in a few, if there's a lot of stretch, and um, in a few hours, it might look stretched out. So consider that. Length, I like to have a pencil skirt that goes just, uh, just below the knee as, as mine's done here. And uh, some women like it a little bit above the knee or at, around, at or around the knee. Um, my caution too is just go, don't go um, too high up above the knee because then, it's, then you're kind of in between. So you either do a mini skirt or you do a pencil skirt. Um, or a, you know, you know, a longer skirt. But when you when you start floating above the knee somewhere in between, in this kind of no man's land, then you kind of lose a bit of style. So just be careful that you don't go too short. Um, longer, if you want to do it longer, absolutely, it's a different look. It, maybe if you're doing for evening, etc. Um, that's really nice too. It just depends on your body shape, uh, where you plan to wear it, etc. Am I missing anything? We covered stretch. We covered fabric. Oh, zipper. As uh, Oksana had mentioned, we started off with the zipper on the side, which I really would have liked because then you have like no seam at the back. However, because of my scoliosis, uh, which gets in the way quite a bit, the zipper was um, sitting out, um, it was kind of sticking out funny. So then we had it moved to the back and I actually don't mind it because the way it's done, it's actually, um, it's a really thin zipper and the way it's sewn, you barely even see it. It's not in my way at all. And so, I mean, that's another option to consider is where you have um, the zipper put on. Uh, also, the top of your pencil skirt, how that's finished, that's something else to consider. Um, I like the band, the way Oksana's done it, which you saw in, um, in her showroom there. I, I, I like that it's, it, it gives the, the skirt a bit of a finished look. And so when I tuck something in, it'll be a nice little band um, across. So, but that's up to you. Um, just consider that as well, where you, how you'd like that to sit. This one doesn't dig in, dig in at all um, as I've been wearing it. So it feels really great. I think that is it. I'm just looking at my notes. Yeah, I think that's it. So anyways, before we go though, I have to mention this gorgeous red wood hanger. This is, um, this is specific to Nicole Bach. They have these made and they come with every purchase. So if you're in the Toronto area and you're thinking of having something made, definitely uh, check them out because you get one of these beautiful hangers with every purchase. Um, price point, um, I have it written down. I'm gonna put it in the description. Uh, what to expect when you're doing, uh, when you're having something custom made, made to measure, etc. And yeah, that's it. I will talk to you soon.